Yes. Good evening, Mr. President, esteemed provost, vice president, deans, family and friends. Welcome to the School of Business's January commencement. Class of 2019. <laughs> Class of 2019. It's been, congratulations, it's been four years in the making, but we're finally here. And what an honor it is to be standing before you all today. Now as I begin, I want everyone in the audience to recall one important decision they've made. Preferably, one you're happy with. Think of that decision. Reflect on the impact it had on you and how different your life is because of it. That, my friends, according to Cornell University, was one of 35,000 other decisions we make every single day. And what I have realized from this statistic is that we as individuals are defined not by our dreams and our aspirations, but by the decisions we make and the actions we take. To this day, our paths have been paved for us by society, by our families, and by our advisors in the department. Now, as we look ahead, we no longer have a syllabus outlining for us what the next semester is going to be like. From this point onwards, we write our own syllabus. <laughs> And with that, we'll be faced with millions of different choices. But out of all those decisions, there will only be those select few that will alter our lives forever. Decisions like quitting your, nine to, your boring nine to five job for a startup you're actually passionate about, or <laughs> dropping uh, or putting a ring on the finger of that special someone. These decisions. <laughs> These are the ones that carry the most risk and have the greatest impact on our lives. And what the School of Business has been doing is training us to be better decision makers, putting an emphasis on developing people capable of making tough decisions. And with that in mind, we've been taught to acknowledge that in all decisions, there is a trade-off. Classic one in business is the trade-off between price and quality. Entrepreneurs and managers alike can either offer their customers a superior quality product or a low-cost one. And more often than not, those that have tried to do both simultaneously become stuck in the middle and they fall out of the game very quickly, simply because they couldn't pick a side. Now, the same goes for us. If we want to thrive, we have to be willing to make important decisions. And this mentality is best explained by looking at other influential Egyptians who've taken risks and made tough decisions. The first one that comes to mind has many fans in the audience and is known around the world as the Egyptian king, Muhammad Salah. <laughs> now he used to take five different buses every single day to come to Cairo to play football. And on top of that, he endured a lot of rejection early on in his career. But because of his resilience, his name resonates around the world today. And the next person is a personal friend of mine, Fatma Saeed, who I hope is watching the live... <laughs> who I hope is watching the live stream right now, wherever she is. Now, Fatma is an Egyptian who decided to become an international opera singer. And indeed, she cemented the place for herself on the international stage, becoming the first Egyptian woman to perform at Dira Scala in Milan, the world's leading opera theater. And my last example is a graduate of this very school, Omar Samra. <laughs> who 10 years ago became the first Egyptian to reach the summit of Mount Everest. And today he is a global leader, an entrepreneur, creating travel adventures for people all around the world. Now you're all probably wondering, why is he telling me about these people? Well, it's definitely not to push you to go climb the highest mountain you can find, or drop your degree for a footballing career, however tempting that may be. The point is, these people have walked in the same streets we've walked in. Some of them grew up exactly like we did. They're no different from any of us. What we have to do is explore different avenues, 
take on risks and learn from our mistakes. And with this mindset, we can accomplish anything. Now every commencement, students audition for the honor to speak in front of an audience such as yourself. And with this honor comes a little bit of risk. Now what allowed me to take on this honor, despite all my doubts and everything, was to ask myself, what's the worst that can happen? It took me 21 years to finally ask myself this question. But seriously, what'll happen? I somehow forget my lines, or I forget to read off the paper in front of me here. What'll happen then? The commencement will go on as planned. Parents, your sons and daughters will still walk out that door with their diploma, and I will have learned a tough, but ultimately valuable lesson. And remember, that's just the worst case scenario. So it's granting ourselves the liberty to make mistakes that will enable us to make strides towards understanding what we want from this life. And what we have to do is own our decisions and not dwell on the past. And looking more deeply into the past, four years ago, I had the opportunity to study abroad. But a few things happened and I decided to stay. Now I'm not going to tell you that was the best decision I ever made or not, because really, Nobody knows. But as of this moment, I don't have any regrets about any of my decisions. And really, none of us should either. Your decisions have shaped the person you are. And for us, class of 2019, that person is graduating today. <laughs> and, on this, and on this day, I want to take this moment to thank my family for their unconditional support. <laughs> Even when they didn't agree with all my decisions. I also want to thank the School of Business for creating a platform for us to grow as individuals. And you guys, class of 2019, thank you. Thank you for all the bonds, the experiences, and the lessons. You've made me the person I am today. And my final message to you is to always remember, life goes on. So seize the moment, own your decisions, and enjoy your success. Thank you.